here the sixth question is in figure 6.37 if a triangle ABE is a congruence to triangle ACD, show that ADE is similar to ABC. Here, if you observe, the given condition is the triangle ABE. This triangle is congruent to triangle ACD. So, we have to prove ABE, ADE is similar to ABC. Solution. First of all, uh, AB is equal to AC. Here, AB is equal to AC because this triangle and this triangle are congruent triangles. So, we can write a triangle ABE is a congruent to triangle ACB. Similarly, uh, AD is equal to AE. Here also same rule. ABE is a congruence to triangle ACB. Let it be 1 and it be 2. So this is a one of triangles ABE and triangle ACB. Now from triangle Each 
which angle is 90 degrees. And also angle AEP is equal to angle A APE is equal to angle CPD. Angle APE is equal to angle CPD. So these two also equal because vertically opposite. Vertically opposite. So by using criteria angle and angle, we can say that triangle AEP is similar to triangle CDP by using criteria angle angle. Now, second one. So from triangle ABD, from triangle ABD and triangle CBE, triangle CBE. So here ABD and CBE. From these two triangles, we can write that uh, ABD. So here angle. ADB is equal to angle CBE, angle CEB. So here angle ABD, ABD means ABD, this triangle, and angle CBE means this triangle. From these two triangles, here ABD, so ADB, ADB means this angle, and angle CEB, CEB means this angle. These two angles are equal because 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And also they have the both similar angle and B. So angle A B D is equal to angle C B E. Same angle. Same angle. So by using criteria A and A angle and uh, angle and angle, we can say that triangle. ABD is similar to triangle CBE. This is by angle and angle criteria. Now, third question. Here, from triangles AEP and a triangle ADB. So, Triangle AEP. AEP means this triangle AEP and ADB. ADB. So this triangle and this triangle. We have to prove those two are similar triangles. From it, we can say that angle AEP is equal to angle ADB because angle AEP is 90 degrees and angle ADB is also 90 degrees. So ADB is also 90 degrees. So each angle is 90 degrees and also angle DAB is equal to angle EAB. Angle DAB is equal to angle EAD because in it this is the same angle, in this triangle also this is the same angle. So same angle. So by using criteria angle and angle we can say that triangle AEP is similar to triangle ADB. This is the third one. And fourth one from triangle PDC. From triangle PDC and triangle BEC. Here if you observe PDC means PDC, this triangle and BEC, BEC, this triangle. We have to take these two triangles. From it, we can write that uh, from the PDC angle PDC is equal to angle um, CEB or BEC, what are we uh, Angle BEC. So here, BEC is 90 degrees and also PDC is also 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees each angle and also if you observe, B is the same angle in both triangles. So, angle, sorry, uh, 
TDC. Uh, C is the same angle in both triangles. So here angle PCD is equal to angle BCE. So here both angles are equal. So same angle. So by using criteria angle and angle, we can say that triangle PDC is similar to triangle BEC. By using angle and angle criteria. That's it. Here, the eighth question is E is a point on the side AD produced as a parameter ABCD and B intersect at F. Show that triangle ABE is similar to triangle CFB. So, we have to make a construction from the given information. Here, ABCD is a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram A, B, C, D. And also, E is a point on the side AD, producer of a parallelogram. If you produce with AD, then E is a point on the producer of AB. This is a E. And B intersect at F. So here B to E is a line segment which is intersect C D at F. Now we have to prove triangle A B E is similar to triangle C F B. So solution from triangles a, B, E, comma, triangle, C, F, B. So, A, B, E, that means A, B, E, this triangle, and C, F, B, this triangle. We have to prove these two triangles are similar. So, first of all, if we observe, angle, C, B, F, is equal to angle, A, E, B. So here CBF means this angle and AEB means this angle. These two angles are equal. Why? Because these are alternative alternative interior angles. Interior angles. So why alternate interior angles? Here clearly mentioned that this is a parallel. That means opposite sides are parallel. So, B acts as a transversal, then these two angles becomes the alternative interior angles. And also, angle EAB, angle EAB is equal to angle uh, BCF. So, these two angles are also equal because opposite angles of the parallelogram. So, in a parallel, opposite angles are equal. So, opposite angles of parallel. So, here two angles are equal. So, we can say that by using criteria angle and angle, triangle ABE is similar to triangle CFB. This is by angle and angle. Criteria. That's it. The ninth question is in a figure 6.39 ABC and AMP are two right angles. Right angle at B and M respectively. Prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle AMP and also CA by PA is equal to BC by MP here. So here clearly mention that M comma B are the right angles. So, to prove it, first of all, from triangles, from triangles ABC and triangle AMP. So, ABC triangle means this is ABC and AMP. These are the two triangles. From these two triangles, we can write that angle ABC is equal to angle a M P because each angle is 90 degrees. 
and also angle CAB is equal to angle CAB is equal to PAM because here CAB is an and PAM this is also same angle so same angle in both the angles same angle so here two angles are equal so by using a a and a criteria triangle abc is similar to triangle amp so by using a and a criteria angle and angle criteria so when two triangles are similar the ratios of their sides are so equal that means uh, here the corresponding side to ca is a PA. So CA by PA is equal to and the corresponding side to uh, BC is uh, MP. So BC by MP. So the ratios of the sides are equal. What is the reason? Triangle ABC is similar to triangle AMP. First. Now tenth question. CD and GH are the Respectively, the bisectors of angle A, C, B, and E, G, F, such that D and H lie on sides A, B, and E, F, respectively, of a triangle A, B, C, and E, F, G, respectively. If a triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle F, E, G, show that C, D by G, H is equal to A, C by F, G, and triangle A, C, B is similar to triangle H, G, F, and triangle DCA is similar to triangle HGF. So we have to make a construction for the given information. Here, first of all, this is a triangle and this is also one triangle. Here, clearly mention that CD and GH are the respectively the bisectors of angle ACB. So ACB, right? This is the C. And also E G F. Let right? this is the Z. So the bisectors are nothing but C D. So this is the D and G H. This is the H. These two are the bisectors. Here yeah? these two angles are equal to. Now uh, such that D comma H lies on the sides A B. So here. A, B and also H lies on the E, F, E, F. So, after triangle A, B, C and E, F, G respectively, we have to prove first of all C, D by G, H is equal to A, C by F, G. To prove it, first of all, C, D by G, H is equal to A, C by F, G. So, to prove it first of all, from triangles, from triangles, A, D, C from triangle ADC. ADC means this and triangle F H G. From these two triangles, we can say that uh, triangle DAC is equal to triangle. HFG because triangle uh, ABC is similar to triangle FG uh, sorry FEG. So here these two triangles are similar triangles that means uh, these two are the equal angles. So we write the condition and also uh, angle ACB is equal to angle FGE, angle FGE. So these two are equal. Similarly, same condition angle ABC is similar to angle FEG. So here these two are equals. Half of the, these two angles are also equal. That means half angle ACB is equal to half angle FGE are also equal. So half angle ACB means so we have these two are the half and half. So we can take a angle ACD. Half of angle ACD means 